Good morning. This is following on from yesterday's video. In this video I'm going to show you how wrong you can be about a jacket being leather when it's not. Um, generally I, I, I'm i given leather jackets, I know they're leather straight away. Quite um, often I will see what is described as leather in charity shops and then on closer inspection and it's normally very obvious actually. It's um, uh, PVC or uh, something substituting leather. Um, but this one completely fooled me. Um, my cousin, bless him, um, you know who you are, um, gave me his um, leather jacket and to be fair, it looked leather, it felt leather, it fooled him that it was leather, it actually fooled me to actually make the video about his leather jacket yesterday. I'm not deleting it because I think it's uh, something that needs highlighting, especially if you're going to go and purchase a leather jacket. To just be very guarded and don't believe everything you're sold in shops. Um, right, this um, jacket for all intents and purposes was heavy, um, but it wasn't until I removed the heavy quilted padded um, brush cotton lining and fleece that it revealed how light and flimsy the jacket is. Now this is the deconstruct, well partially deconstructed jacket so I've taken out the heavy lining. Now just to give you a close-up it absolutely fooled me. Um, it's the first time I've been fooled without actually having to rip it to pieces to find out. So this is what it is. It is uh, what I would describe as a waxed cotton. Gorgeous, still gorgeous. Um, I love it as much as I did thinking it was leather but it's, um, it's a wax jacket that is now going to be an even more interesting bag because I'm going to team it with something slightly contrasting in leather. So it will be a leather holder, but it's going to have the features of the wax jacket in the pockets and the elbow um, detail that I showed you yesterday. So it's I'm even more excited that um, it isn't what I thought it was because it means I can do something completely unique and different. So it's going to be leather and wax cotton, man's hold all, proper rugged, and I love that word. And um, I'm beginning it today. I've got a really short day. I've just took an hour to take my daughter across town to her sports day. Why they can't have it at the school, which is a two minute walk from here, I, I never will understand. But um, yeah, they've all trooped over to Rowley Park in Stafford for a big old um, sports event, sports day. Um, so I've got a really short day to work today. So this morning is going to all be about deconstructing this gorgeous jacket and finding something in my stock to team it with. I've got something in my mind I think I'm going to use. Um, in fact, I'll just go and get it now. Just bear with me. It is absolutely perfect. So this is a really old, heavy leather waistcoat. Really leather, absolutely leather, obviously leather. Um, so I'm going to be putting that leather with that wax jacket and it's gonna be, oh, probably a bag I wanna keep myself, but obviously I can't because it's going to my lovely cousin down in Kent. So, if you would like to continue watching the progress of this bag, please tune in possibly this time tomorrow and I will be pretty much 
even if the line is not done I'll be pretty much almost there with the construction or at least all the cutting out of all the pattern pieces it's not a massively complicated pattern as I said in the previous I still haven't made it um, video it's just uh, two panels a zip placket and a gusset at the bottom probably doing the gusset in leather um, to give it that actually I'll probably do the bottom gusset in leather the back panel in leather and the front panel in the um, cotton and the zip in cotton. <laughs> Can't wait! Excited! If you would like to see my previous video look a little bit further down my uh, profile page and oh I think I shared it on my leather page if I haven't I will um, go across to Alibon Leather and have a look on there and the third video to this series will be put on there and on here but if you want to see all my past creations you can on alibond.com and also on my new blog aliashton.com thanks for watching have a great morning and i will see you soon bye